Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend reading for um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be for the weekend of April 9th through April 12th, okay? So guys, let's go ahead and get these cards shuffled up for you. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have today from my Virgos? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to my Virgos, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what love messages do we have for my Virgos for April 9th through April 12th, please, Holy Spirit? Okay, my loves, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. Um, I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it is a lot of fun, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so I know... Um, so you know when my readings post and um, when I announce the winners, okay? Um, so guys, if you would like to pur uh, purchase a personal reading, I am having a huge sale right now. Um, the link is below for you to check it out and see the new pricing. <coughs> uh, below you'll also find my Instagram uh, link, the link to my Timeless Collective readings, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, information there for you at um in the description box okay so virgo let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message so guys what i got um now this could be your energy virgo or it could be your person's energy uh you know i don't know um but what i'm feeling here is someone is realizing that they literally walked away from quite possibly the best thing that's going to ever happen to them okay um somebody here just realized that they just they had a blessing they had like the perfect connection and they just walked right away from it um and what's worse is they're realizing that this person is doing just fine without them. So Virgo, if somebody walked away from you, you are doing just fine. And this person is realizing like, oh my gosh, I just lost, you know, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And this person is fine without me. So it's not even like, it, you know what I'm saying? So someone here, whether it's you, Virgo, yeah, page of swords again. Someone here is watching. Someone here is looking. And someone here is seeing that, you know what? You're doing just fine, you know? Or you're watching and looking at someone do just fine without you. But there's a big sense of regret. And um, I feel like there's a lot of hope here. Someone has faith that this can come back together again. And if it does, this person is out to commit 100%, okay? Um, Page of Swords, again, under the deck. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Um, someone is watching. Someone is watching, Virgo. So let's see what we have here. Let's pull some energy. Um, let's pull some energy here, guys. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos? The runner. Yeah, see, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of in intimacy and listening to the ego. Someone is wishing that they didn't run. We have that in reverse. Why did I run? Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos, please? Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Now someone here is obsessed. They is obsessed. They ran away, and now they're 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 obsessed with the fact, like, oh my gosh, what did I just do? Why did I why did I leave this behind? Yes, yeah, someone here is seeing their truth. They're having a revelation here. True, uh, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation. Um, yeah, someone here is awakening to a truth, like, oh my gosh, you know. Yeah, someone here is replaying over and over and over. We've got sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of the future. Someone here is really seeing the truth and now they're they're full of regret with separation there under the deck. All right, so let's see here. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So what I'm feeling here is Virgo, someone here is starting to realize that their friends were very deceptive. Uh, maybe there were friends that were jealous of this connection that wanted to see it come apart. And now you're coming to the awareness of or you or your person, whoever here, you know, split this up or caused the separation is starting to realize, wow, I shouldn't have listened to these people. 
So here we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to, um, to others. Someone here has is moving on. They're starting to flirt with other people. They're getting to know other people. And this person is realizing that they have deceptive people around them. So here we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the Wheel of Fortune. So someone here was literally given a gift. They were giving a blessing, okay? And with deception here, I feel that, you know, there was someone here that wasn't being honest. Um, and I don't feel that it was you, Virgo, or your person. This was an outside party that was looking at this they were looking at this blessing we've got the five of swords and the two of wands someone here was telling someone you should leave them you should leave them you should leave them behind screw them you understand they were hyping this person to make a decision and to distance themselves um that later on would be there would be regret here with that five of swords um i, I feel definitely that it was just somebody egging somebody on um, and with the Eight of Pentacles here, this person put a lot of work into seeing this connection fall apart, this third party issued person here. And I think it was a friend or a family member. Um, now we have this person here, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini Energy, and the Nine of Swords. So this person is manifesting new people into their life because this person was hurt really badly with the Nine of Swords. So this person is trying to, you know, manifest new people into their life, okay? Um... We have the Two of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person thinks that this connection is completely over, and this could have been a soulmate connection. So this person thinks that this connection is completely over, and they're moving on dating new people. Um, we have the Chariot. Yeah, Cancerian energy moving on. And Virgo, you're watching this or your person is watching this happen. Someone is realizing the mistake that they made here. They trusted the wrong person. Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, King of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. Um, someone here was very confident about this connection. Uh, the King of Cups, the King, the King of Cups, the King of Wands likes to boast. So Virgo, if this was you on this side that you listened to the wrong friend, maybe you were boasting too much about the love that you were being given. You were boasting too much about your person with the Nine of Cups. You were very proud. You were very proud of this connection and the people around you were very deceptive and didn't like it. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Swords in the reverse. See, you didn't even appreciate these, these people did not want to, you to see the, the blessing that you had on your hands. Or Virgo, your person, their friends did not want your person to see the blessing that you had in your hands. You know, they didn't want to see what this ex was offering, okay? <clears throat> they didn't want, the friends were not allowing um, the person to actually see how blessed they were. They didn't want them to see the good parts of the connection. They wanted them to see the bad parts. Like, oh, you know, you should separate yourself. You should get the hell out of there. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, the star. These people were hoping, they were hoping that, that you know, someone here would walk away. They were hoping. People were literally watching at a distance, waiting for this to end, okay? Tell me about the Two of Wands. Yep, the Nine of Wands. Someone here was saying you should distance yourself. You should put a wall up. There was someone here that was talking a lot of shit, causing a lot of strife, causing a lot of drama. And now someone here is realizing it. Now the truth is coming out. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is saying I should have worked on this connection. I should have worked. You got the two of cups here and the two of cups here. This is a true soulmate connection. Yeah, you're left out in the cold here. And now that you're, you're someone here is, is, you know, just sitting around thinking about it, they came to this realization, okay? They came to this realization that, you know, they trusted the wrong people and they lost something really amazing. Tell me about the magician here, please, spirit. We have the Empress, okay? So this Empress, Aries Taurus energy here, guys, um, she knows how to manifest. She, he, it doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. But this person is very successful, okay? They know how to manifest. They know how to make shit happen. Even if at night this person is in a lot of pain, they wake up every morning and make shit happen, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Swords. 
the high priestess in the reverse this person feels that you know what the secret is out the the relationship is over um they just don't feel like their intuition is telling them that you know this is over like it's just you know what i'm saying it's not gonna the secret is out you know th this is not what i thought it was so i'm gonna move on tell me about the two of cups yeah the justice card okay um this person felt like this was a divinely guided connection this person felt like this connection this soulmate connection was something that they manifested it was their ten of pentacles this person thought that this was going to be forever and with that ten of swords they were betrayed tell me about the ten of swords yeah twin flame soulmate connection here guys this person was stable and they were betrayed this person was stable and in love and this person was in love but there was someone on the outside here that did not there was a friend here that did not want to see this connection move forward tell me about the chariot yeah this person is overcoming and they're moving forward and they're moving forward so here we have courage and back and forth yeah see even though this person's heart is back and forth between the past and moving on they're putting on that armor they're gaining their courage and they're just moving on they're like you know what what's done is done and that's it there's nothing i can do about it i just have to keep moving you know and on this side here we've got family and a consciousness of lack so i feel like this person here is starting to realize now that it may have been a family member or a friend that came in between and caused this person to lose okay this person is realizing that it was a friend or a family or that they lost their family um you know someone can it was either friend or family that came in between this connection what's the challenge here the hierophant Taurus energy okay what's crossing the situation the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy someone here i again is hoping to be able to apologize someone here has a lot of faith that if they apologize this might come together um the Hierophant Taurus energy is also marriage. Someone here is read the challenges, you know, having that faith or or having that stable commitment again. We have the Ace of Cups and the Six of, of Swords. Someone here is moving on to new love. Someone here, this person here is moving, is making the decision to move on to new love. Or it could also be that someone is coming in wanting, like offering their love and saying, no, please don't go, you know. All right, guys, well, let's take it into the extended. Let's see if there's going to be reconciliation here, because this person is really waking up to the fact that there was a friend or a family member that wanted that did not want this to come together. And this person here as an empress, she's not going to deal or he's not going to deal. You know, if they're in empress mode, they're not going to deal with drama and bullshit. You know, they're going to be like, OK, the secret's out. This person is done. You know, this is done. And I'm going to go and, 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 you know, move on and keep moving. You know, an empress and emperor, they just keep moving. They don't sit still for anybody. You know, during the day, this person manifests at night. You know, maybe they let it out at night. They cry at night. They feel bad at, at night. They, they release whatever they've been holding inside but ultimately this person moves forward you know all right guys so the link for the extended will be in the description box below and it'll be in the comment section we're going to see if there's any hope for reconciliation if this third party person is going to actually win and we'll pull some oracle for some clarity and guidance okay i love you guys bye